Hi, I'm Senior Smith, and this is my review of Flipped. I was about to tell her to get lost when the weirdest thing happened. It's a sign of growing into adolescence when you realize things that you never thought about before when a crush is involved in your life. There's a good example of that in the movie Flipped, Rob Reiner's latest movie. It's based on a young adult novel, which I haven't read. But I discovered that it takes place in, in the 2000s when the adapted movie takes place in the early 1960s. A couple years later then from Rob Reiner's other coming-of-age comedy drama, Stand By Me. The 60s setting is convincing in Flipped, but the truth of the matter is, is that the situations in the film could happen at any time. It begins when a little kid named Bryce Lossky moves into a new neighborhood and is already followed by a girl who already has a crush on him. Her name is Julie Baker. I couldn't believe it. There I was, uh, holding hands with this strange girl. How did I get into this mess? Well, hello. I see you've met my son. All he wants is for her to leave him alone. Years later, the two are in junior high, and Julie begins to turn her mind on things that are more important to her, like her family and a beloved sycamore tree that she tries to save from being cut down. And then after she daily delivers her family's hen's eggs to Bryce's family, she finds out what Bryce has been doing with them. Why are you throwing them away? Don't you want them? It wasn't me. My dad didn't think it was worth the risk. Risk? What risk? Salmonella. What are you talking about? He's afraid of being poisoned? Well, Julie, I mean, look at your backyard. It's a complete mess. And as for Bryce, he starts to have feelings for Julie. But just as Julie thinks negatively about him. Are you freaking mental? Julie Baker, you hate her. Well, that's what's so weird. I don't think I do. I can't stop thinking about her. You got a bad man. What do I do? Well, you gotta nip this in the butt. I mean, think about it. These aren't real emotions. They're not? No, you just feel guilty because of the whole egg thing. What he doesn't know is that Julia is listening to them. Exactly. You see, there's an intriguing screenplay device throughout the film in which sequences will be seen from both points of view. First we see it from Bryce's, and then we see it from Julie's. And then the scene flips, if you will. Flips captures our memories in the way that we wish we could have done things much differently when we were in junior high. By the end of the film, these kids sort of feel the same way, without giving too much away. Madeline Carroll and Callum McAuliffe, who play the two kids, are flawless in their performances, and they show an effective sense of vulnerability. Flipped is director Rob Reiner's latest film and is best to come around in a long, long time. It's funny, it's sweet, and complimentary nostalgic. I give it a yes.